boy, it's Ali. Uh, it's a real quick one. I've got to well, try and make it quick, really. Um, because Steve's got to dash this one off uh, to my daughter, uh, ASAP. Um, because uh, she's going to her friend's house tonight. Um, but firstly, this is, um, I've been asked to make two baby boy mini albums. Um, and I was a bit worried because my skills are not that good, really. But I'm really pleased with how it's turned out. I also had to make four tags. Um, she's made her um, a nappy cake um, and a couple of other gifts that she wanted some boy tags for. So I made two of these the baby bottles um which are about four and a half inches by two inches wide um so i thought they were quite cute and i just stamped a baby boy blessing across the front in gray so there's two of those and two of the dummies um, and again I just stamped across there baby boy blessing um, I haven't really got many um, like baby stamps and stuff um, so I had that stamp but the rest I've used um, is rub-ons um, which I had to search for um, so this is the front cover and it's all chipboard and I um, cut it from uh, the Tim Holtz cabinet die um, and use the oval edge um, for the binding it's bound with a ring um, and as you can see I just put loads of um, goodness on it <laughs> this um was a vellum uh, quote from the um this nursery stack that i had from die cuts with a view um so i was pleased that i found that um and here we go so this is the first page and obviously it's workable it's a workable frame you take this out and she can then fill it in with um oops sorry uh, i can take that out because that's a stamp that i've got and that just went perfect um so i'll pop that back in there A um, little foam sheep um, that I've had for a long time. Um, and I've gone white, blue, and this uh, pretty sort of pow lime um, green. So I just ruffled that up. And then on this page, his name's, the baby's name's Clay. Um, so I put a big C here oops here um this is a, a little clear bag here and i just made some um some tags um to go in it um, just stamped angel on the front there so i was pretty nervous um i hope they like it um this is a material flower um and i got this um i bought this from hobbycraft a long time ago i've got it in the pink as well um it's just like jersey material um so i just tied a bit of that around and poked that through the the flower and then put a big bling on 
um, run my ATG gun down here and just try to just ruffle up this um, stamping up ribbon um, and then over to the next page I've done some clouds as you can see um, as the pocket um, unforgettable moments there um, this is um, a little tag so that was quite cute um, done this one here for the photo and done cut these Sizzix um, baby shoes out and space there for journaling or another photo the the lady um it's going to is not a scrapbooker so you know i did try to make it as easy and uh, you know just put some uh, some writing and that down um and the paper line i used for this one um was from crafty secrets and i bought it a long time ago um so it went perfect really because as i said i've not got much baby stuff and the baby stuff i have got is pink um done another couple of tags with sweet baby angel cherish and some white seam binding on there this has got to be my favorite page these um i stamped um, with the stamp that Joanne gave me in our swap um, and I heat embossed those um, with Tim Holtz distressing powder um, pop this one down here onto the flourish so it works like a little pocket and this was a, just a die cut piece that went perfect that I had from um, Kane Co's uh, Lotus die cut pack I think it was so I was really pleased with that how that came out um, and then um, this one this page um, little hands <laughs> um, again this is um, a Sizzix teddy bear um, and I coloured his feet and his face with Copics. Um, big uh, scallop punch there. And a little embossed uh, pram. And then another... Oops, this will come out. <laughs> yeah, so a photo there. Um, it's got our little there our little baby boy and the baby is a Sizzix die cut and I just um, put some glossy accents on that quite a thick layer and a bit of bling and this is um, oops a photo map sorry about that uh, and this is just a, another tag that I did So that's that page, and then this page um, I'd filled mostly with trims, as you can see here. It's blue lace, and then there's polka dot ribbon. Then there's the teddy bear um, embossed trim, and then this blue satin trim here. Um, I just done this was laying about um, part of a lollipop flower that I'd started and I just popped that little die cut in there um, then it's got some um, rattle sort of tags there and then this one here um, photo at the back um, one of them nearly fell in my tea lovely <laughs> this was just a normal tag um that i just creased there and folded up and i stamped this and colored it with my copics 
It's got a journal spot at the back. Um, so I thought that was good as well because it's actually a second child. So, so that's that. And then these two, I think, are my favourites as well. Um, I done. Uh, these were just some scraps of paper that I had in the drawer, um, and I just made it like a belly band. Really, done the same again there with that ribbon and some lace. And then I done a double-sided um, crown there photo at the back um, and then done this crown on the front and then just made these three little tags that slot in there so that worked out really well um, and then this last page uh, made it look like a bib um, workable frame um, this was um, a little Christmas um, stocking uh, chipboard piece and I just made it like a little fancy sock um, got a cane co moon up here and a flower um, and some pom pom trim and that's it just my stamp on the back and I really hope that they like it um, this is the front cover oops, of the next one that I'm doing and this has got to be ready by next week so I thought the crib and like the um, where are we uh, the little quilt hanging over the side there thought was really good oops that's it so that's it that's what I've been up to um so thank you all for watching um and be kind <laughs> um it's the first baby mini album I've ever made um and I'm really quite pleased with it and I love the colours um excuse the state of my desk i'm just gonna have my tea now and then um i should wrap it up and it's got to go up to my daughter but she only lives up in the next road so that's cool okay then so uh thanks guys and i'll be back soon have a great weekend bye love to all